welcome back to the vacuum reviewer today we have got a unusual video today we've got a bag or a basket or a carry case and yes this is actually a vacuum cleaner I don't even know what this is so it's gonna be a surprise well I know what it is actually but you don't but you will find out in a f about 30 seconds so let's go straight into the video and dive in on this mystery vacuum cleaner so yes it is literally just a bag it is tiny compared to my hand so it's not that big it's about that big so not big at all it's got a carry handle on the top it's not hard it's fleece it's definitely a vacuum inside. Should I turn the cover around and so you'd know what brand it is? I think I should bring the bag a bit closer. Alright, let's see what it is. Ah, it is a Black and Decker Dustbuster Flexi Auto Cyclonic Action. Oh, that's bad. It's a black and decker. It's one of them small, small vacuums. I don't know what type. There might be a different model. I'm not sure. It's short. But let's open up what seems to be a black and decker. I will let the gate fall in a, f in a few seconds. Boss. Yeah, it's one of them. But we will give it a go. It's not a normal Hoover. It is, as you can see, one of them car Hoovers. So we will go into the car, have a little go. Ooh, a little bit of dirt in there. Take that out. Oh, look, we've actually got some attachments. I didn't even see them at the start. I didn't see them at the start. Where do they come from? Oh! There's a little carry case. There's, I actually didn't see them. When I got it, I never saw that. But on the top of it, there's a bit of a case where you can put your attachments. That's very nice. Well, the attachments are a seems to be a combination tool but is it just for the no so you have you can have just the sort of upholstery tool and then you can flip the dusting the brush out oh, it's a bit stiff so you can have a little bit of a dusty brush it's not very stiff oh, so at least we've got some attachments is there storage on the machine for it I don't think so then we've got a crevice tool it looks like it's only been used a couple times it's not too it's not tiny and it's not too big it's a okay length so we've got a couple attachments the main vacuum let's get you down and have a look at the main vacuum right here it is so i was given this to for free by my mum's friend shout out to them so it's very very small very very lightweight which is good for when you're trying to clean your car it's not bulky so it's annoying and a pain to use so it will be a very good uh, I think it'll be a very, pretty good cleaner so let's have a bit of a deeper look at it so let's just move the attachments to the side over there and let's have a look at it as you can see its hose can be stored like this with by the handle like that but when you take it off it goes under so that's it's even smaller the handle is going over the top the hose if i put the machine it's pretty far out of shot so it's just there 
if I move it, it goes all the way out, miles out, and there's still about a handle a bit left. So it's a very nice long stretch hose. So long I can't get it all in shot. So that's a very good thing. So you can have the vacuum there on the seat or something and you can just clip it in, the grevers to win, and you can just detail it like that. Now that is what I like. So you don't have to have let's say it attached to that so you don't go like that. So the hose makes it really easy. So hold vacuum hold the vacuum with one hand and uh, guide the nozzle with your other hand and vacuum up all the dirt. I haven't turned this on so I'm going to be pretty surprised when I find it. You can also have the crevice tool at different angles as long as, the, as, long as well with the dust and brush so you can have it backwards if you're a bit weird so you can have it sideways if you're trying to vacuum something sideways you don't have to twist it round to do it you can do it like that I guess and then you can also have it the normal way same thing for the dusting brush or the combo combination tool you snap it in use it you can also do it in other angles so that's quite nice the hose is probably one of my favorite parts about it but let's the cord is pretty long so you need that's also a good thing for when you need a good handy little car vacuum. It it's nice and small. It's it's got an incredibly long wire. It's I'm gonna just straighten it out to see how much it is. I'd say it's a good five meters. That's pretty good. Uh here just there, you can't quite see it. Just under the handle there is the on off button. So you move it across to turn it on and off. I don't know. So that is off. That is on. So that is off at the moment. On this side, you have got your bin empty. So you just pull that catch to open it and empty out anything Ooh, bit of that sawdust very fine grit a thing you'd find in a car and what I find pretty cool is if you let me just close it if you twist this If you twist this, you can get rid of any dirt that's trapped on the cyclone and then empty it. So as you can see there's a lot more finer dirt that is in it, but that is very helpful. I don't know if there is any filters on this. I'm not sure. Do you have to twist that? Is there any sort of filter? It looks like there's a little foam filter. Because you, you might have to twist, twist. You don't twist that. It says there's arrows. I don't know. I don't want to break it. I don't know. I'm not sure, so I don't want to break it. So we just store it like that. It goes in there. So now you've got a more comfier, comfortable handle. Your cord uh, is wrapped around here on the side so it's nice and easy to store I do find it a little bit fiddly but if you do it at an angle it's a bit easier so anyways now we've kind of had a little a bit of a review should we try it out on my in the car we'll go inside my mum's car and give it a vacuum, let alone she hasn't vacuumed in a while, so it'll be a pretty proper test for it. So let's go and have a little try out with it. 
once I've got it in its little handy bag, which I think is very nice. So let's just put that clip on. If that fits around it, I'll put it around there. And let's go straight there. Now I'm only going to do this bit because you need the battery for it. And yeah, so let's see how it does. I'm not sure how well it works, but let's find out. Let's turn it on. Pretty good. It's getting most of the surface there. So it's not too bad, but it's not, of course it's not going to be as good as a Dyson, but it's pretty decent. So let's, here it is. So it's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and you see you in the next video. Bye for now.